Close to the microphone. <laughs> Get you up, everybody, uh, up a little bit. Go ahead. Yeah. Do you believe that <clears throat> that if a uh, law, uh, a physical law of nature, uh, or a physical law to be a real law of nature, has to be form invariant under Lorentz transformation, or Galilean transformation? or any kind of transformation. I think that the things that are the laws are probably like Maxwell's equations, that they don't care. You believe it has to, yes, has to be that's more than very. Yeah. Any more? Yeah, I think it would be interesting to, uh, to take this analysis, in, in other words, to take uh, the, uh, the, the FIPS version and some of the other ver versions that you looked at and, and cast them in a matrix form and see what the difference, put them side by side with your version and see, have you done that? Uh, theirs were not in the matrix form in the first place, and if you put them in the matrix form, you discover what was left out. That, that's what I want to see, what did they miss? That's yeah, exactly yeah. the point. Yeah, I think you'll find that in the paper. I don't know if you answered my question, but you didn't hear me. The difference between invariance and covariance. And I, I said that really the basic thing is that in this mathematical scheme, there are always two versions of any physical thing. Uh, in, in expressed in matrix terms, you can always write a column vector that re represents that information. You can also write a row vector that represents that information. So one of them is covariant and the other is contravariant, and that's, that's really all there is to it. No. When you mentioned the invariance of the of the lens vector of the lens, uh, right? Interval. Mm -hmm. the yes. Space yes. Interval. So like but you said that that's a long meaning. Yes. Yeah. With Galilean transformations, you can see that what you're physically interested in as a length will change when you change the, the coordinate frame. My, my interpretation of the invariance of the lens is the face angle of that. You see, when you put the, the phase angle in the wave equation, you get these three space coordinates and the time coordinate, and they're independent. I think that's what they're talking about. It's not a real lens or anything. It's not a, a space-time interval. Yeah. It's just the phase angle of the wave of light. That, that could be. That's a more limited yeah. interpretation. Sure. That's what the thing deserves. It's been way over -hyped. Anybody else? Yeah. yeah. yeah if you can line. Can I maybe maybe form a line? That'd be good. That we don't have to wait long between questions. Anybody wants to go form a line? But, uh, Cynthia, if you uh, don't mention that we discuss your paper yes. in April, April, right? In the uh, entire months. We have and I, and I disagree with you. You don't. You just neglect this. You have five con conclusions. Five. I agree with first conclusion, I disagree with second, I agree with third one, I agree with fourth, I totally disagree with last uh, conclusion, this is totally wrong. Two and five. So, so is, if, you know, uh, is understanding of the, what is tensor. Tensor vector, they are just defined uh, as coordinate free concept. Maxwell equation is totally coordinate free because it's right and depends on the tensor. So you can change any coordinates, you can choose any coordinates and nothing is changing. But Lorentz group and Taglian groups are totally different groups. It's just a group of symmetry. And of course, symmetry of the uh, equations is not changing of the coordinates. It's totally a different story. And Maxwell equations are invariant with with respect to the Lorentz group, but they are not invariant with respect to the Galilean uh, group. What means invariance of differential equations? That, uh, that group symmetry is making solution of differential equation to again to the solution. And uh, uh, if you have solution of partial equation and you apply a Galilean group, you do not get solution of partial equation. On the Lorentz group is making solution to solutions. I don't know, I have no time to explain more or less the things, but problem is in is understanding what is vector, what is tensor. Tensor vector as are independent on coordinates. If you choose uh, uh, for vector basis, 
in this basis vector has coordinates, but if you choose another basis, you have totally different coordinates. But this is the same vector, the same vector. So matrix calculus is totally uh, wrong calculus because uh, cal uh, representing vector in terms of the uh, coordinates the column, you choose basis. But this depends on the basis. Vector in the Minkowski space do not know what basis you are choosing. So you must remove from teaching this matrix calculus. This is stupidity. <laughs> That's only polite. <laughs> okay. And we can have that continue. I think the key thing to remember is that there, there is a very big difference between form invariance and number invariance. Certainly it is true that when you make coordinate transformations of any kind, you change all the numbers everywhere in the actual uh, numerical realization of the equation. Uh, form invariance is a different thing. It's simply about you know what multiplies what, and are there any terms left over, and that sort of thing. It's about symbols as opposed to being about numbers. So we have to continue our, our discussion, which has already been very spirited and very very productive for both of us, I think. Well, I won't go into that, but I, I just want to make a clarification so that I understand what you're saying. Basically, I mean, your, your, your basis is the form factor. But the transformation is a tensor. It's not as if the data itself is tensor. It's the, the transformation between four vectors is a tensor. But that's what you're. Well, if, you, if you call something a tensor, a vector would be a special case of it. And you haven't uh, specified it until you fill in particular numbers, but you can still talk about it before you fill Well, it becomes a tensor when it becomes a 4 by 4 thing with 16 numbers. Well, it can be a 4 by 1 thing. That can be a tensor too. Okay. Tensor so you're thinking about like a whole.